Inflation is wreaking havoc on pocketbooks nationwide. Prices are sky high for gas, rents, groceries, and just about everything else. The cost of living in the UK is rising, and it's changing people's lives. We know things are bad, and we wish that we had better news, but it looks like things are going to get worse for the economy. If you are living in the US, UK, Australia, or any other Western country, you know the effects the recession is having on our daily lives. Dollars and pounds are simply not stretching as far as they did before. But with retirement around the corner, what other options do you have as we look into the next five to 10 years? Well, one growing option you have is to live overseas. Southeast Asia is made up of 11 countries, which is a lot to choose from. We can see from the tourism data that Thailand, the Philippines, Cambodia and Vietnam are some of the most popular countries for expats. Each country has its own cost of living, so the true cost of retiring in Asia becomes slightly challenging. But we need to find out how much it's actually going to cost you to retire in Asia. So I've compared the data from personal testimonies, the cost of living websites and my own experience and factored in the raising inflation rate, which is also a big topic, to calculate how much you will need to retire in Asia. To live a basic lifestyle, the cost of retiring in Asia is between $750 to $1,300. To live a standard lifestyle, the total cost of retiring in Asia is between $1,300 to $1,875. To live a comfortable lifestyle, the total cost of retiring in Asia is between $1,875 to $2,400. And finally, to live like a king or queen, the total cost of retiring in Asia is $2,400 a month or more. But one question you may be wondering is, with the rising inflation rates across Asia, will this affect how much money that you will need to retire and live in Southeast Asia? Or in other words, if you are living in Asia now, or you plan to live in Asia, do you need to increase your capital? Unfortunately, the answer is potentially yes. And taking more than you expect you will need is often a very wise idea. It is often recommended to take at least 10 to 15 percent extra of what you think you'll need when you live and retire in Asia. So if you think you'll need 1,500 a month, a budget of 1,650 is a good target. But regarding inflation, there's definitely a price increase in Asia. Now I'm not sure if you've heard what's going on with Laos. The Laos inflation rate has recently spiraled out of control control and has reached over 23%. Experts believe that this will continue to rise as we look into the near future. So far, Thailand and Cambodia's inflation rate has reached just over 7%. At the same time, Singapore and the Philippines has reached 6%, Indonesia 4% and Vietnam and Malaysia 3%. But what I propose is equally as important is how are you going to be sending your money? A few days before this video, I researched how money transferring services and banks are dealing with these changing financial times. During the research, it was discovered that the majority of organizations have increased their fees on many Asian currencies, such as the Thai baht and the Filipino peso. Many businesses say this increase is unavoidable due to the volatile markets. Therefore, in most cases, transferring US, Australian or Canadian dollars into Asian currency will incur higher fees now than it did once before. If you want to retire and live cheaper in Asia, where is the best location? With all things considered, Vietnam is one of the cheapest destinations that I found in Southeast Asia for retirees and their lifestyle. Ironically, this is one of the countries that does not provide a retirement visa to foreigners, so other visa types such as a business visa or investment visa will need to be arranged. But what is important to be aware when looking at the cheapest countries to retire in Asia is that retirement is all about balance. Retiring cheaply is a fantastic option, but the question is, is the cost or the lifestyle more important to you? The Philippines is a country that I have spoken about a lot on this channel, and it's one of the most enjoyable countries to retire in, but it is not the cheapest. So looking at the big picture, you may find that the best option may not always be be the cheapest option. But of course, where you decide
decide to retire will be a significant factor. Choosing a country that is best for you is like sitting in a chair. There are many comfortable chairs to choose from, but one just feels right for you. After looking through the data, the emerging markets, and the direction of many countries in Asia, it's clear that Asia is the future in one way or another. Across many countries in Southeast Asia, the divide between the rich and the poor is getting wider, so affordable living options will always be needed. Many corporations across Asia now focus on providing services and housing options to low-earning families, and Southeast Asia will continue to be a high-demand location for retirees who wish to live cheaper. Here's a question for you. Out of all of the countries in Asia, if you could only live in one country for the next 10 years, which country would it be? 